Upstate leaders gathered at a Hayes CISD high school today for a very powerful discussion about fentanyl. Parents who lost their child to the lethal drug spoke with U.S. Senator John Cornyn in a roundtable discussion. KXN's Sarah Alsheh shares what changes those families want to see. A roundtable discussion filled with people of all walks of life. Everyone there with the same mission, the fight against fentanyl. Serious action needs to be taken by our state and federal governments. At the head of the table, U.S. Senator John Cornyn. But I'm eager to learn more about what's happening right here in Hayes County. Listening to law enforcement agencies, students. But what I cannot count on one hand is how many students I've seen affected by addiction. And parents who lost their children to fentanyl. This school year alone, five Hay CISD students died from the lethal drug. I relive that moment every day. Parents told the senator they want more availability of rehabilitation centers in the county, but that their main concern at the moment is the flow of drugs into the country. Something Cornyn agrees is a priority. We know it's going to be more better technology physical infrastructure, more boots on the ground. We need to stop the drugs and we need to secure the border. That's the message I'm going to take back with me. Parents Janelle Rodriguez and Brandon Dunn say they're leaving the conversation with a hopeful yet heavy heart. It comes on a day Johnson High retired the football jersey for their son Noah. Overwhelming and um, emotional. Very emotional. They say they'll continue being a part of these discussions in his memory in the hopes it saves even one life. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. And Senator Cornyn says he's currently working on legislation to address the fentanyl crisis. It's called the Fentanyl Response Act, and he says it would provide additional training for local law enforcement agencies on drug overdoses and also get more Narcan in the hands of first responders.